So this week we're going to work on color mixing again, but this week we're going to use either clay or play-doh. So we will need red or pink play-doh, yellow play-doh, and blue play-doh. And then just like with the red, yellow, and blue paints, we're going to mix those to make new colors. So I will pass you guys out some of each color and then it's going to be up to you guys to mix your secondary colors. So the colors we're looking to make this week are again purple, green, and orange. So you'll notice I don't have a lot of clay or play-doh. I have just enough to make my colors. And what I am doing is separating it into three sections each to make sure I have enough to make each color. And when I'm done, I'll have a rainbow of colors in my Play-Doh or my clay. So then I'm just pairing up my colors so that I can make my secondary colors. So pairing up the primary so we can mix them to make the secondary. So I am starting with yellow and pink, or yellow and red. And you'll notice I'm not swirling it around on the table, but I am mashing it in my fingers. Because we don't want to have any swirls, we want to be able to get a solid color. So by smashing it with our fingers, it's going to mix the colors together a lot better. So I'm gonna add a little bit more pink or red to make this a little bit more of a dark orange. Now you can always pull this in half, your orange, and you can add more pink or more yellow to make darker and lighter orange, and then you'll have three different color oranges. The next two colors I'm gonna mix are blue and yellow. So making sure that I mash them together so I have no stripes or streaks. And I'll show you in a minute what that'll look like. So if you don't mix it well enough, you'll still see yellow and blue. We want to keep mixing till we only see a green color and no stripes of yellow or blue. So I'm going to continue mixing. And then again, once you've mixed your color green, you can pull that in half and you can add more blue or more yellow to it to make it a darker or a lighter green. And then you'll have more values and shades of that color. And then last, we're gonna mix our red and blue together or our pink and blue together. And this is gonna give us our purple color. And you can see here, we still see blue and pink. So we wanna keep mixing until all we have left is one solid purple color. Now this one was more on the blue side, so I think I add a little bit more pink to make it a little bit darker of a purple color. Again, you can split this in half if you have some Play-Doh or clay left over, and you can add more pink or more blue to it to make it a darker or a lighter purple. So there are my secondary colors and my primary colors. So I've got red, yellow, blue, and then orange, green, and purple. Now, if you remember what happens when we mix primary and secondary colors together, we kind of get a brown or a muddy color. That's what we want to try to avoid with this exercise. We know that we can make muddy colors, but we want to try and focus on making our secondary colors and then making different shades and values of our secondary colors. So while this color still looks green, it is a muddy green, it's pretty dull. It's not a very bright color at all. And then once you're finished mixing your secondary colors, you can play and make new creations with the new clay that you have. 